Hello guys, this is Jason, and welcome back to the Badge Fan Server. It has been a while since I've had a chance to record on here. Mostly because of life in itself. Um, working a new job, helping grow a other business, a uh, leadership business that I'm involved in, and a baby, and being married takes a lot of time in life. So, I've been enjoying it, actually. It's been really good spending time and getting to know my baby more and more. She's just adorable, and uh, she's really starting to get a little chubbier now, so she's not so thin and really cute. Cute little cheeks and stuff, and my my wife is doing really good, too and everything so um, so life is good I like my new job and all that too but I have been playing Minecraft I've been mainly playing mini games on Friday nights I wanted to show you guys a little bit <clears throat> on what's kind of expanded there. there's quite a lot of games there right now and then I'm gonna figure out some stuff to do because I actually have like a whole afternoon all by myself in the house no one's home it's awesome <laughs> but uh, yeah there's a a baby shower my sister-in-law is actually gonna be having a baby too so let's see make sure I didn't leave anything behind so that's where the wife and baby is and if you see the fistings it's because we've for some odd reason but really funny reasons uh, I decided to call our Friday game nights Fisting Fridays. Yeah, I'll go about as far as that for now. But I did try to do a little bit of recording. I might be able to save some snippets. Um, I still haven't figured out how to record Fraps and Mumble that we use. And Mumble's very finicky. So I uh, used OBS and it didn't quite uh, set up. Uh, set up like I wanted it to but yeah anyways there's a lot of games that have uh, been built around here this is one I think that Paul octagonal Paul made um, you're actually supposed to ride around on the cart and shoot each other but every time you shoot out of the cart the cart pops up so unless you lob it and then if you hit the person's cart they stop moving again uh, this one I think is one that um, Poppy made. I didn't play that one yet, so um, I got into the uh, the games Friday a little a little late. Had some family over and stuff, but so I missed a little bit. I missed that's a sumo a sumo wrestler map. I guess you're supposed to just punch each other off. That's what I'm assuming. I missed that one too. Uh, this is a PvP maze game. Which, uh, uh... I know they were... We tried it once before and they were kind of working on some stuff. So I don't know if it's been uh, complete, completed yet. I know, yeah. Started on a roof. Two to eight players. And then you just go... Both go in two player or both go in six player one. When you win a game, go back to the top ladder and roof. Come down to this level and into the final room. One entrance each corner, back and front. Oh, okay, that's cool. This thing is a. Uh, it shoots arrows through the lava, which sets them on fire, obviously. And everyone groups up in here and dodges arrows, last man standing. So I think, I don't know if it's, yep, it's operational. <laughs> Let me pick these up. Some of them stick to the roof too, but it works pretty good. We've tried it once before and it, it was a little um, slow, so they adjusted it. It works pretty darn good now. Uh, this is another one I think that Paul made. Uh, you're supposed to go up there, put... I think put on the whole suit of armor and the pumpkin head, grab blocks out 
of the chest underneath it and get over to the winner's box by built bridging over while other people are trying to kill you, knock you down, and take the armor. So uh, that one, <laughs> that was a, a really uh, intense game when you're playing with like 10 people. Uh, this is pretty fun. You play in this one, uh, you use flint and steel, one person on each side, and you try to set each other on fire, and last man standing wins. This one I got a chance to play a little bit. I came in when they were just starting it. But pretty much this is at uh, fall level without boots and armor and everything. And every time you land in a water spot, you put a piece of cobblestone down. And you just keep going one after another. And eventually you start dying from fall damage if you hit the cobblestone. So um, that's a pretty, pretty close game to the whole thing. bucket of water. I'm just gonna yoink, grab that. Um, don't think this one's done yet. I haven't played it. We've played this one a couple times. This is a lot of fun. This is uh, four different PvP areas. Uh, <clears throat> this one we play invisible. So you gotta look for particles. This is a maze. This one's a maze fighting. Uh, I think it's, um, I think we use swords in that one. I think this is also a sword basic PvP. So you could use swords and bows. And this one's a bow PvP game. Um, all all these are really fun. They've uh, they've had a lot of entertainment value. And uh, Poppy made this, Poppy Meadows. This one's Pac-Man. I'll go from the top view. <clears throat> so we have one ghost and one player who plays invisible. And the invisible person runs through and knocks the torches out. And the ghost walks around with a sword, a wooden sword, and tries to kill him. And it's that one's actually a pretty pretty fun game, too. Especially if you're viewing and you're seeing someone just swing like mad. And uh, the particles aren't even close to him. Oh, do I have my boots on? Yeah. Let's see, this one's uh, pig jousting. Uh, I don't think we tried this. Um, they might have tried it. Like I said, I was a little late to it, but... Is it, yeah. Or is it pig racing? I don't remember now. But, it, it's, uh, I don't know, I'll have to try this one one day. Oh. Cool. We'll give that one, a will try one of these. Yeah, this one always been very popular is the uh, uh, PvP area that uh, Paul made. We've played this one quite a lot and uh, had a lot of lot of fun using uh, invisibility, swords, bows, armor, no armor, all sorts of things. So that's what's going on in the, the mini games. Um, I have I have a plan. Actually what I wanted to do was uh, build a king of the tower um, and I need to I was thinking about digging a hole to bedrock I could do either or I could just dig a hole in the ground because the you know, ceiling height so high now and just go that way or dig all the way down to bedrock and do it uh, kind of like how pack rats done it for a couple years on the minecraft server but I don't know. That's I don't know if I have enough time to dig out a hole that that big and deep. And uh, also, I've had a little issues of things missing on the server, which we're trying to trying to fix right now. And one of those things that we're missing is all my iron. Now, for some reason, I think I, I think I have a beacon somewhere around my house but I for some reason I know I know I have one and what I did was I reviewed an older video and I didn't have the beacon in the chest where all the rest of my stuff went missing so I was gonna look around for that a little bit today too and my portals right there so I 
another thing I another thing I'm gonna think about doing or oh no it's this one right over there um, I think I'm gonna build a little stepway up to this up to this tunnel <clears throat> make some some of the trips a little shorter so let's see what else where else would I have left that beacon Where would I have left it? I know I've went caving a couple times. But I don't remember if I took it down for any more strip mining. I guess I can check real quick. Okay. I guess I can check real, real quick to see if I find it at my home. So our Friday night game nights um, have been quite a lot of fun and I would recommend you uh, watching I think Pygon MC has been recording them and I know I know Paul's re Octagonal Paul's recorded a couple oh I built <clears throat> I built a different uh, portal entry I didn't like the last one I was putting it together and it didn't quite fit the area so I think I think that actually turned out pretty good uh, my chicken coop, something really just basic. I got a few chickens. I don't want to have too many chickens around this area. And I made a real simple little fountain right here. I think I like it. I don't know. I'll wa I'll look at it for a while and see if I ended up changing it. I wanted it pretty basic. Uh, made myself a cactus farm. I think that's actually been working pretty good. Yep, got 33 cacti in it right now. Uh, got <clears throat> I moved my uh, reeds from up top down here. I didn't automate it, and I figured it was kind of pointless for me to automate it since I don't use it very often. Of course, my wheat field. And I haven't changed anything in the animals. And around the house, I've added a few bushes and stuff like that just to kind of dress it up a little bit. I put all these lamps all the way around my border. Might fence it in later on, but uh, it's pretty safe right now. I still got a few things that spawn up here, but I need to put more lighting in. All right, so let's look around here real quick. I just want to make sure all my stuff from the baby shower. So none of that that I can see if went missing. What's weird is my diamonds from Jack and my suit is still here. Okay, I'm gonna just check these real quick. Because I still might have my beacon around. Like I said, I look back See, my bows are here, but I have a feeling that I'm missing a couple things in there, too. But all my iron that was here, my gold, and my notch apple is gone. Kind of pisses me off. Left everything else, but took took my valuables. Um, and for some reason, I thought I had Unbreaking 3 book, but I could be quite wrong on that. But I do not see my beacon. And I know I had enough iron for two beacons. And when I look back at my video, I had enough in there for one full beacon plus almost a third one. I didn't put it in here. Here, just double check these. Nope. Ooh, there's not. That's that's not a safe spot. I don't have any arrows. Oh boy. Okay. Put an arrow on my bar. See ya, sucker. I don't think anything here's been. Nothing here is missing. 
Um, where would my... Beacon be? I'm going to check a couple more spots, and I will be... I'll be back with you guys in just a couple minutes. Might as well finish you off. See ya. Alright guys, I give up. I looked in a couple spots where I know I've used it. And uh, one spot I don't even remember how to get into. So I've decided just to give up. I fortunately have, I think it's eight wither skulls, so I can... Um, oh, go kill, go kill another wither. Um, so I, I can get a couple more beacons if uh, if need be. But whatever, I'll um, I'll figure it out. I might I might go caving here shortly again because I would like to get some more diamonds too. So. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not too worried about it. It's uh, just a game. I don't like people messing around with stuff. But it's a game. Now if they would have burned my house down or something like that, I would have uh, been pissed off a little bit more. For sure. So, anyways, let's head into town real quick. Uh, check out a couple things here. Well, everything looks looks normal here. I wanted to look. Uh, oh, I've moved everything. That's right. I took all the uh, chest out of where my uh, my memory shop is. Ooh, speed boost. So let's go to my house real quick. That's in town. <clears throat> Just to check. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're good. Whatever. Whatever, I think this calls for one of Moe's drinks here. It's the weekend. I need a little pick-me-up. So, Mo, what you got today? And why are you always facing the wrong way? Mo, too. Oh, yeah. I think the first Mo got killed by a zombie. want a drink. I don't remember how to get a drink from ya. Huh. Oh. There it is. Mo! Mo! Go step on the pressure plate. I want a drink. I want a drink. Uh -huh. Dang it, Mo! Come on, come on, step on it. Uh. Step on it. Go. Come, come on. No, you wanna. Uh. I don't know if I can. I'm hitting my head up on the beam there. Paul, he's not consistent. Uh. Did you tell him not to serve me drinks? Come on. Come on, step on the pressure plate. I want my drink! Huh. I'm not gonna punch you. <sighs> Gosh. What a day. I can't even get a drink in this place. Can't even get a drink. Paul, you gotta start talking to your... 
to your employees here. Fine. Well, maybe they got something. A zombie. Mm, must be down in the cave. Maybe they got some something I can drink down. Down in the bazaar. You know, they got all sorts of things down here. Let's see. Carrots. Go for a carrot. Why not? Get some good some good food there. Oh. Got some good gear. Let's see. Let's see if business has anyone interested in it. Nope. Which is good, because I can't even do it if I wanted to. Hmm. What's this? Payment. Shop guide. Quartz. That's pretty cool. Well, hello, flowers. <laughs> I guess my place needed a little prettying up. I know. I know it always gets me in the mood. Some music. Let's find the right one. That's not the right one. Whoa, where are you going? Let's get some music here. Stall. I think stall's good. Not bad. Let's see. Cat. Try and wait real quick. No, I think we'll stick with stall. Kind of fits my mood. Let's see what else is going on. More shops. Fire bucket. Looks like we have a fire conscious person. Filtered ocean goods. Wow. Whoa, look at all those books. Whew. Holy crap. Wow. Well, we're not low on saddles. Gold exchange. Got chickens. That's working well. Uh, it's an on or off right now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Someone fluttered. Well, I saw some chicken. No drinks. Oh well, we got some good music. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. I think that's all the shops. Yeah. Hmm. Makes me. Makes me think I should open a. Uh, an exotic drink bar here. You know, kind of like on a beach where they have the drink bars. I might do that. That is a big fence. Paul's got some major issues going on with that place. Maybe I should stay out of his, uh, his shop for now. I don't want that growing around around my place. That'd be a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, now I'll come up with some ideas. So, uh, if, I guess I have actually I do have a couple ideas that I want to work on, but I'll keep this episode where it's at. I just wanted to get back into town a little bit, kind of get a, a feeling back of the server. 
get some inspiration again and um, enjoy the day. Ah, Garrett. Enjoy the day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a pretty mm. laid back one. We'll get into something a little bit more fancier next time. Hi, little guy. And uh, keep continuing on having fun. So, might be caving next. I do need some more diamonds. And obviously iron now. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And leave a like if you did, or a comment. I always love comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>